What y'all looking for? I think it's just making the poop right there. It's cracking down. Oh, it's Hey sis, good afternoon. Hey y'all. Peace, love, and blessings. Hey everything new, hey sis. Wow, those are all the numbers I've been seeing too. Hey Crown Jewel. Y'all, I'm outside. The kids are, um, the kids are swimming. Let me see if I can, um, hey, sis, listening from the shower. <laughs> yeah, the kids are swimming right now. Let me try to reverse the camera. Hold on. Let's see. Let me try to, um, hold on, y'all, because the thing is a little foggy. All right, that should be clearer. Say hi, y'all. Say, y'all, Manny, Manny. Say hi. They looking at you. Come right here. Hey, y'all. And Britain is in the pool. <laughs> it's the type of stuff. A headstand? Yeah. Are they saying yes? You're dripping on me. Sorry. Are oh, they God. saying yes? Hey, y'all. Okay, y'all, go oh, finish swimming. Y'all dripping on me. Y'all dripping. Um, finally catching a live. Welcome, Rochelle. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, they're having a ball. They've been having a ball. God is good. Yes, y'all. God is so good. That's all I can say. He's amazing. Um, so let me go ahead and get comfortable real quick. Because this is a good word. Amen. This is a very good word. As you guys are coming in, please get those likes up. If this is your first time in the building, let us know so that we can welcome you in. Y'all already know we spread love. That's what a real mazu. So as you guys are coming in, please be sure to um, let me know where you are logging in from. And also um, grab somebody in the chat and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, I love you. Amen. I enjoyed our coaching session two weeks ago. Amen, Michelle. I I enjoyed our session too. To God be the glory. New York in the building. We got Dallas in the building. It's frozen. We got Michigan in the building. Is it still frozen, y'all? Neighbor, oh neighbor, I love you. Neighbor, oh neighbor, I love you. All right, let me see something. Tell me how the connection is. Neighbor, oh neighbor, amen. How's your Sunday going? Get those likes up. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Y'all see my grades? That's wisdom, hallelujah. That's wisdom. I just, I ain't even plan, I ain't even plan on coming in on here, y'all. This is just real, like, I don't care. Let's see. Y'all didn't see me rough and pup and rough. So, um, I don't even care. Okay, so the connection is good now. Come here. 
You okay? Yeah. You gotta be careful. Come here. Did you jump in? Did you jump in? No, because I hit my head when I was doing like the wrong. You gotta, you gotta be careful. Seriously. How do I cover? You can't. So it's gonna get bigger. Hey, sissy poo. Hey. Yes, y'all. Listen, this this download was from yesterday, and me and sis Rebecca was on the phone. And it was just coming, like it was just flowing. It was just flowing. Sis, I'ma need your help too for some stuff if I forget. Um, but I, I took note of most of the stuff that the father was giving us um, and confirming to us. He kept confirming, it was so wild. But I'ma go ahead and jump in. Let me go ahead and just um, start with prayer. Manny, please be careful. Um, I'ma go ahead and start with prayer and then we are gonna go ahead and jump right in, okay? So, um, <laughs> amen praise god to god be the glory sis um let's jump in um dear heavenly father we come before you today lord god with thanksgiving in our hearts we ask you father god for forgiveness of any sins anything that was committed pleasing or unpleasing uh known unknown seen unseen anything that was not pleasing in your sight we ask you father for forgiveness lord i ask that you um come into this live come into this fellowship lord god and you just make your presence known lord god i ask that you confirm your word in jesus mighty name and that who this word is for that they will gravitate towards it and whoever this word is not for that they will be Remove. I come against any monitoring spirits in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father God, for having your way. Lord God, I ask that you just flow through me, that it would be all of you and none of me in Jesus' name. All of you and none of me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. So, I'm going to say this. So, this is what originally started this word, y'all. Can't make it up. Y'all know how the Father be talking. Okay? um and this is no shade because i don't know who's watching me or whatever this is no shade to anything but let me tell y'all i had two people all in one day um by the name of vashti either watched my my story was watching my story um on instagram one person named vashti was watching my story on instagram and then the other had commented on my video on TikTok and her name was Vashti. Excuse me. So I was telling Rebecca, I'm like, sis, yo, what is the odds of Vashti watching me? Even though I know this person is not Queen Vashti, but what's the odds? Vashti, right? I can show y'all. Then while me and sis was still on the phone, y'all, I logged on to my YouTube thing and I seen this song that popped up on my YouTube and the name of the artist was named Vashti so I'm like okay it's something with Vashti so I screenshotted it and then I realized the time that I had screenshotted it follow me y'all ready so the times that I had screenshotted the different Vashtis what it's okay um one of the times was at 12:44. And the other time was at 1249. So let me go ahead and break it down what that is, okay? So 1244 has two different definitions, two different meanings. One of the meanings, 1244, it means, um, it's spelled, I mean, it's pronounced as diario, diario, okay? And what it means is to separate, for example, to distribute or to divide. Okay, follow me. Y'all get those likes up, y'all, so I can get in the flow. Okay, it also means to divide into parts, to tear, to part, to cleave, to cut asunder, to distribute. Thank you. Okay, the other meaning of 1244, y'all, means punishment. So y'all can kind of connect the dots, okay? So you have to cut, to divide, and then you have punishment, okay? So in this, just by itself, um, the father is separating, 
severing that tie, severing that connection, removing them, okay, and punishing them, okay? And um, this is a part of judgment, right? Right? So I said, okay, so let me look up 1249. What does 1249 mean? What does 1249 mean? So 1249 means pure and clean. Okay? And so this this number was connected to hey sis. This number was connected to um Song of Solomon 6, specifically 9 and 10. But I thought it was so funny because even yesterday, sis Rebecca and I was she was talking about how the father led her to Song of Solomon chapter 8. So I said, okay, so let's go ahead and read that. Let's go ahead and read that. Okay. So we're going to start with Song of Solomon 6 verses 4. Oh my gosh, it is 444, y'all. The window is open. Like the window for this union is open. 444 me open door. So I hate chewing gum on live. I'm going to take this out my mouth because I think it's real tacky. Give me one second. Give me one second. Hey, sis McQuandria. Okay. So we're going to start with, um, this is the NLT version. And I really enjoyed this version. So it says this, it says, you are beautiful, my darling, like the lovely city of Terza. It says... Yes, as beautiful as Jerusalem, as majestic as an army with billowing banners. Turn your eyes away, for they overpower me. Your hair falls in waves like a flock of goats winding down the slopes of Gilead. And it says, Yup, Song of Solomon 6 says, it says, Your teeth are as white as sheep. This is him admiring her that are freshly washed. Your smile is flawless. Each tooth matched with its twin. Okay. Y'all, I can't say my teeth is white today because you know how when you in the wrong lighting, your teeth look extra yellow. So today my teeth looks buttery, but it's okay. It's not buttery in person. So it says your cheeks are like rosy pomegranates behind your veil. Um, and then it says even among 60 queens and 80 concubines and countless young women i would still choose my dove my perfect one the favorite of her mother judge your mother okay judge your mother all right y'all know how it be so i'm like this i'm getting ready to be like this for the whole video because the sun be drawling you know what i'm saying <laughs> they look buttery they look so buttery but i don't care um it says, um, the young women seen her and praise her. Even queens and royal concubines sing, sing her praises. Who is this arising like the dawn? Um, as fair as the moon, as bright as the sun, as majestic as an army with billowing banners. Okay. So I just thought it was beautiful because even sis and I was talking and um, we was just sharing our different testimonies and stuff like that and i was just like you know it's funny how women always you know called me queen or women always um like even older women always called me like superstar and stuff like that and um rebecca literally was like um that's like the scripture how women praising you you know um but that's neither here nor there but back to them specifically, him saying, I will still choose my dove. Like among all the other women, I'm going to still choose you. Okay. Uh, among all the women. And it, and it reminded me even of, I'm good, Charles. How you doing? It reminded me also too of Esther 217, y'all. So let's go to Esther real quick. Okay. Let's go to the book of Esther. Now going back, I remember, remember I told y'all that Esther begins with i don't i think i said this in another video but the book of esther starts on page 558 in my bible okay and i thought it was amazing because again we've been seeing 558 and 558 means to um like one that has been freed like a freed man 
And then Esther, the other part of the chapter starts with, it's um, on page 559 in my Bible, which means to utter, to speak, okay? So I believe for somebody, somebody's going to start receiving, freed man, someone's going to start receiving communication. Hallelujah. Okay, someone's going to start receiving communication, amen? Um, but you know, even just with the first part of Esther, what does this highlight? Queen Vashti being deposed. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this part because that's what's going on. Queen Vashti is getting kicked up and uprooted out the kingdom. Going back to the number 1244, y'all. Hallelujah. Y'all catching my flow? Is y'all catching the flow? Amen. And so I really wanted to specifically read... Um. I don't want to read the whole thing, but if y'all want to take time, I want y'all to go ahead and um, read it. Read the first chapter of Esther. But it was one part that I wanted to actually read. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just start with 10. I'm going to just start with 10. It says, um, on the seventh day, when King Xerxes was in high spirits from wine, he commanded, he was ripped, okay? He was, um, com he commanded the seven eunuchs who served him, and it's all their names, to bring before him Queen Vashti, wearing her royal crown in order to display her beauty to the people and nobles, for she was lovely to look at. It says, but when the attendants des delivered the king's command, Queen Vashti refused to come, okay? Rebellion, disobedience to her spouse. So, um... The king became furious and burned with anger since it was customary for the king to consult experts in matters of law and justice. He spoke with the wise men who understood the times and were closest to the king. Um, let's keep going. It says, according, this is verse 15. It says, according to law, what must be done to Queen Vashti, he asks. She has not obeyed the command of King Xerxes that the eunuchs have taken to her. It says, then... Mumukin replied in the presence of the king and nobles, Queen Vashti has done wrong, not only against the king, but also against all the nobles and the peoples of all the provinces of King Xerxes. Y'all remember? Yes, you put the word out on the correct day. Why? Mm. Okay. The father is funny, says, it says, for the queen's conduct will be known to all the women, and so they will despise their husband, says King Xerxes. Um, commanded Queen Vashti to be brought before him, but she would not come. This very day, the Persian and Median women of the nobility who have heard about the queen's conduct will respond to all the king's nobles in the same way. There will be no end of disrespect and discord. So she was pretty much setting, she, she made it look bad. Like she was, because she's a queen, right? So many people follow after what she does, okay? And so because she disobeyed, um, her spouse, he like, nah, because you're going to end up having these other people disobey their husbands as well. We got to get her out of here. We don't need no women as the, no woman that's walking in complete disobedience, you know, to their spouse. Because, again, like we are to be submissive and we are to, you know, because that's our husbands. That's our head. That's our covering. So I'm going to read one on um, verse 19. It says, therefore, if it pleases the king, let him issue a royal decree and let it be written in the laws of Persia, which cannot be repealed. That Vashti is never again to enter the presence of King Xerxes. Also, let the king give her royal position to someone else who was better than she. Okay. So he dismissed her and he sent out a decree for her to be replaced by somebody better. Period, point blank. Um, so they did just as that. So going back to even that scripture where I was saying he chose, okay? He chose. He chooses her. Your spouse is choosing you, okay? Um, going back to Esther 2, 17. Now the king was attracted to Esther more than any of the other women. Going Again, it's you that specifically stands out among all other women. It is you. Okay. And it says, um, now the king was attracted to Esther more than any of the other women. And she won his favor and approved an approval more than any of the other virgins. So he set a royal crown 
on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Okay. And the king gave a great banquet, Esther's banquet, for all his nobles and officials. He proclaimed a holiday throughout the province and distributed gifts with royal liberty. Okay. So, y'all, the fact that y'all even saying 414, because I honestly had no plans on putting this message out today. For many of you guys, it is time. <laughs> y'all, it's time. The doors and the windows of communication is open. <sighs> I just want y'all to get ready. The last message I said to y'all, the father literally said to me, he said, what I'm getting ready to do, what I'm getting ready to do, I need you to make a vow to be quiet. And I'm just going to remind y'all again, whatever the father is getting ready to do in your relationship, in this union, I need you guys to make a vow to the father that you will be quiet and you move in silence. But I want to also remind y'all that it is time. That's the 414. For you, you, you have been chosen for such a time as this. You have been chosen. Your spouse has chosen you. God has chosen you. This is your season of elevation. Take it back to the Lord. You know, everybody is in different seasons. Okay. But for many of you that have been standing, um, it's now, y'all. It's, it's now. Okay. Um, and the father was showing me a number 457 yesterday. He showed it to me three different times. And 457 means to open. Open. Okay. And so your spouse's heart is open. Um, your spouse has been doing a lot of thinking and contemplating and really ready to take this leap of faith. They have been considering the pros versus the cons. They've been considering just starting this new life with you. You know, they're realizing like, wow, like it's it's always been you. Um, five, five, five. They're, they're finding the strength and the courage to come forth to take this leap of faith. It's here. It's here. That face to face is coming. That FaceTime call is coming. That con that confirmation that I mean, not confirmation, that text message is coming. Whatever it is, it's coming. It's here. You like my nails, y'all? Oh, my God. So the father treated me. That's a testimony by itself. Okay. Thank you that you said this. So for some of you guys, my God, for some of you guys, it's time to go ahead and get your Esther treatment done. It's time for you to go ahead and get your Esther treatment done. Okay. I'm going to give you all a testimony. And this is, this is, this is a testimony for God. Okay. This is me boasting in the Lord because this is how the father works. The other day I was down on, I was like, um, oh, it's 457. I'm done. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. This is too much. Oh God. Where's the moderators? So I, um, the other day I kept hearing the Holy Spirit said to 457 means to open. If he's not confirming his word, I don't know what else. But um, he showed me, he was like, Britt, it's time to go get your nails and your feet done. And I was like, no, I'm okay. You know, because again, the father is trying to strip us away from that Egypt mentality. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, no, I'm fine, Lord. And he, and he kept saying it, Britt, go get your nails. And I said, well, Lord, how am I supposed to get my nails? And I only got $50. I'm, I got to use this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not even enough. So I was like, if you want me to get my nails done, um, if it's your will, it's your bill. Okay. I woke up the next morning. Somebody gave me, uh, somebody sold a seed of $180. He said, that's your, for your nails, specifically for your nails. So I went to the place and I was like, okay. And this is a place that I've never been to. And the father was like, they came in. I had went in there and this lady said, 
you should get this. It was this lady that was standing at the thing. She was purchasing, she was um paying for her stuff. And she was like, you should get this, this kind of nail. She said, it's an ombre. She was like, and it looks beautiful. It's going to look beautiful on your hands too. I say, I'm normally like a French manicure per person. And she was like, you should get this. And I was like, okay. But in my head, I'm thinking poverty. Cause I'm like, I don't know how much that's going to cost. I need to make sure I have enough for the rap. So he kept saying, no, you get royal treatment. You get what you came here to get. And so I got there, y'all. It was the absolute best treatment that I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. They did my feet and my nails at the same time. They was offering me alcoholic beverages. I was like, oh no, I'm fine because I'm already drinking coffee and ain't no need. I get been and got the bubble guts sitting here while y'all doing my nails and feet. And then on top of that, I don't drink and my stomach ain't right. So I was like, no, it's fine. She was like, it's on me. It's on me. Here, just get your, just get it done. I mean, just um, take it, take it. I was like, no, I'm fine. It's okay. Um, they was hey sis, um, and the guy ended up like taking off a charge for one of the services, right? Because what I got done was like literally royalty treatment. They had the oranges and it's the lemon slices, and they scrubbed it with my feet and soaked it in the water. It was just the utmost. I got a wax treatment on my feet. Um, they did my eyebrows. I did like they literally pampered me and gave me like royal treatment and I didn't have to move a finger. They came and did it. And they was like, yeah, you know, they pretty much was like, you know, favoring me because I told them that I was from Delaware. And they was like, oh, yeah, we're going to give you the top best. Make sure you leave a good review for us you know and so i was just like wow and i was and then the guy was like well do you want this done do you want this done and i was like well i don't normally get acrylic on my nails i just want to keep it basic he was like well in order to get this you gotta get it i was like no i'm fine he was like you sure and i heard early spirit like get what you want and i was like no he said i'm gonna replace it i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give it back to you get what you want and i'm like nah and he kept pressing it you know um and so i did it I did it and y'all a couple hours later somebody blessed me with double the amount that I spent random I said come on father come on father okay so let's keep going so this is for somebody if the father is saying go get your, your Esther treatment done go ahead and pamper yourself and go get what you need to get done go get it done he said if it's my will it's my bill don't worry about the rest i got you it's you know the thing about it is it's just about obedience it's about walking in obedience it ain't about nothing else it ain't about the price and god's unique says i'm gonna be i'm gonna be hitting you up soon because um my hair grow fast and that's the part of the esther treatment too but i'm waiting for the lord to come through again lord if you want my hair done if you want my hair done, Father God, then you will come through in Jesus' name. You're my witness. But um, I'm telling you, I'm just like, what is going on? What is going on? There's a flow. I, I don't think y'all understand. There's really a flow right now, especially when you're walking in obedience to the Father. Let me give you another testimony that just happened, y'all. So y'all know I'm in the Airbnb right and y'all know like in order for you to get you know they do like three days at a time you have to pay it like three days at a time for them to keep whatever and so i said okay lord i'm telling y'all i can't make this up i said father god and i took it before that i said lord i said you know that my time is up on tuesday i'm only paid up until tuesday and i said it just like that my daughter was sitting right next to me i said Britt, this is what we're gonna do we're gonna take this back to god I said, Lord, um, I need some money to cover me for the rest of this week. I, this just happened a couple hours ago. No lie. I said, Lord, I need some money to cover me for the rest of this week. And I said, I thank you, Father God, that it's done in Jesus' name. And my daughter said, amen. And so I laid down and I took a nap. I took a nap. Yeah, you could be my sis. I laid down and I took a nap. When I woke up, somebody blessed me with the seed that has me covered until Friday.
Somebody bless me with a seed that has me covered until Friday. I'm still sitting here, and I said, I said, y'all, I said, Britt, did you did you see that? I woke up to the blessing, and the crazy part is, I was like, should I ask for help? And he said, nah, I got you. I said, okay, okay, and just like that. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Thank you, Amy, for that seed. I can't make this up. We got, a, we got food for the next couple of days and we got a roof over our head for the rest of the week. And I ain't have to say, hey y'all, I need a little help. All I did was take it to God. All I did was go to ask God and then I went to sleep and I woke up with the blessing that covered exactly enough. My God, my God. Oh my God. So let me keep going, y'all. Let me keep going. Because I just had to boast in the Lord real quick. Because I just can't believe it. Because this is how our God is flowing, y'all. There's a flow. Y'all better stay in it. There's a flow. Amen. So let's keep going. Because my battery is at 25%. So God is good. So... And look, it's 5.05. And I said, yo, the crazy part is, I was just saying to my sis, I was like, every time I see 5.05, the Father blesses me with a thousand. Because 5.05 means thousands. And I pick up the phone, it's 5.05. So, Lord God, I receive my thousandfold blessing in Jesus' name. Come on. Because <laughs> that's just how you work. So, let's keep going. So, the time, right? Let's keep going. My feet getting a little numb. Y'all, my toes look so cute, too. Um... So at the, at that particular time when I was getting these revelations and stuff, it was twelve fifty nine, and I said, okay, so let me look up twelve fifty nine. What does twelve fifty nine means? Twelve fifty nine means y'all already know this. It's connected to six oh four, amen, and it means to change, to change the mind of anyone, to reconcile, to be reconciled, to renew friendship with one, to experience change. So there's a change that is taking place even with the kingdom spouses. I've been seeing 309, y'all. The other day, me and Rebecca was riding, and we seen it. The gas station said 309 and 344. 309 is I recover sight. So that when I came to my senses, going back to Luke 15, verses 17, when he came to his senses, that's when he returned home. So that's what's going on. They are coming to their senses. There's a change that's taking place. Not only are they coming to reconcile with you, but they are reconciling to Christ. Because that's the most for, that's the most important part for them to be reconciled with the Father first. And then they will come and reconcile with you. Come on. Come on, sis, I get it. I get it. And so, again, they have been set free from Vashti, okay? Vashti got kicked away. She, she out of here. She out of here. You know, even about the false starts, y'all, it, it's, it's about God's his, his timing. We don't really have control over nothing. There's nothing that we can do or cannot do to stop what God is doing. If he wants y'all to come into union for a little bit, just for a particular reason to keep your faith, because sometimes he will allow it to be a start. He'll answer that prayer. And then, you know, just, you know, just to make you feel good in your spirit. And then he'll separate to continue to do his work. Okay, so the false start is for faith to remind you that this is a real thing, that you're not tripping. But it's all about God's appointed time when the false starts is completely over. Amen. So let's keep going. So I thought it was funny. This is alignment. Y'all ready for this? Because um, let me hurry up, y'all. It's beautiful because um, even yesterday... Um, I, was, I was telling Rebecca, I was like, sis, I said, I feel like, um, no, I was like, I flipped to a page in the book of Job where it talked about the spirit of, um, it talked about Leviathan. 
Um, and it talked about Behemoth, right? That's in the book of Job. Y'all can find it there. I forgot what scripture. And I said, I feel like this is them also not only being set free from the counterfeit, but they're being set free from these impure and these unclean spirits, right? And so, um, sis Rebecca was talking about, she had turned to a scripture in the Bible where it talked about Jesus pretty much casting out a demon. Jesus was casting out a demon. So again, what is that? That's deliverance, right? That's them going through deliverance that the change took place. The scales fell off, right? The only way the scales and stuff was, was able to fall off was because of the deliverance that took place was because of the change that took place. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So there's a deliverance that's happening. There's a deliverance that's taking place. And so this goes back to 558, five, right? Them being freed. Them being freed. So I wanted to share this other part, this other part, this other revelation. Um, because if you think about it, Leviathan and Behemoth, th those are connected to the Marine Kingdom. Those are those are connected to the Marine Kingdom, right? And also too, um, the octopus spirit, right? The octopus spirit, that's connected to the Marine Kingdom as well, okay? So many of them have been under uh, mind control, under, you know, um, oppression, right? Being controlled by these counterfeits, being controlled by these Vashtis. And they're being set free from it. Because a lot of them was doing this spell work to keep controlling them. You know what I'm saying? They was doing these love spells. Y'all done been doing beauty spells even on us. A lot of us is going through breakouts, random breakouts on our faces because they mad. They don't, they don't, they mad. They doing beauty spells on us. They're doing love spells on us, love spells on them, but it's over. It's over. And so to confirm this, the father has shown me 6049. What does 6049 mean? 6049 means practice soothsaying. Enchanter, a soothsayer, a sorcerer. So this is confirmation. These witches is getting ready to get stitches. They getting punished. And however it looks is however it looks, but they getting punished. And it was funny because, um, remember Rebecca, when God had gave us this word, we was talking about it and we was like, Lord, she, um, Rebecca was like, listen, um, if God give us a confirmation to confirm this word, then we, we spot on or, you know, stuff like that. And y'all it's so funny because heart of Ruth literally had posted a video seven minutes. It was like seven minutes ago. The Heart of Roof had posted a video that literally talked about pretty much the same thing. And we was like, this, there's our confirmation. What she what she posted was um punished for love spells. Remember, sis? Punished for she had just put it out. And I'm like, yo. And I'm like, should I put it out today? I put it out when the father made me put it out. I'ma just say that. But it's confirmation. It's total confirmation. Okay, so let's keep going. Don't put that water in your mouth, Manny. So then he showed me 5588. 5588 means a whisperer, a secret slanderer. Okay, this was their enemies. A whisperer, a secret slanderer. These people don't like, these counterfeits, they generally don't like them. 649 confirms again. It says it means to send send away again the father is sending them away y'all i can't make this up the father is sending them away it's over for these witches these witches is getting ready to get stitches okay and so i thought it was funny because i um i was driving i was on my way somewhere 
and I seen a street sign that said unity. And I sent it to my sis. And I realized the time that I had took that picture, it was at 6.08 p.m. Okay? 6.08. What does 6.08 mean, y'all? 6.08 means ye, you, yay. But when I looked it up, it also said mark, A-B, arrive. And it says the traveling toward a mark destination or a person. The arrival of one mark to the mark. So this is confirmation. Again, your spouse is coming. They Number one, they are arriving to the father. They're returning home. Just how the prodigal son returned home. But not only are they returning home, but they are literally getting ready to return back to you. They are returning back to you. Can we get the likes up? It's 410 people in here and it's only 66 likes. If y'all enjoying this word, can y'all hit the like button? And not only that, what the father was showing me too, because I just heard monitoring spirit. That's why God was showing me with these Vashtis, you know, and not saying that they are it per se, y'all. But y'all know I'm, I'm speaking spiritually of how I seen Vashti watching my storyline and how I seen the other Vashti literally comment on my post. They're monitoring you. They are monitoring you closely. They could be watching your social media. They could be watching you because they do tarot. Okay? But right now, I'm just going to declare and decree that the Father is blinding their eyes. That the, that the Father is confusing the enemy's camp. And then I'm pleading Psalms 91 protection that they will not be able to see in nor try to manipulate what your, uh, your future and your destiny is is in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name and this is another reason why the father is telling you guys to be quiet to be quiet okay move in silence but just know their time is up their time is up the father not playing no more. And again, however it looks is however it looks. I know Harder Roof was mentioning that for somebody um, is deaf. I ain't even gonna lie. I've been seeing that for the past year or so that it's, it is deaf for many of these counterfeits. Unfortunately. But they have gotten warnings over and over to stop what they're doing and they have not. And so um, now God is, is, they're up against the father. They're up against the father. And, and all you got to do is just continue to um, keep your heart pure and to be still. Exodus 14, 14, all you need to do is be still and allow the father to fight your battles. Oh my gosh. Prophetic coaching. Okay, so Sis Shannon from Prophetic Marriage Ministry said, I have spoken to people on coaching sessions where the counterfeits have died. So that's a confirmation. That's a confirmation, y'all. The father was also showing me 488 a lot. 488 um, meaning another, it was um, reciprocity. Pretty much, okay. Pretty much reciprocity, rep rep Jesus, reciprocity. So this time is not going to be like last time. This time is not going to be like the times before. Whatever is put out, you're going to receive back. The energy is going to be reciprocated. The love is going to be reciprocated. So again, y'all need, I, I want y'all, I encourage y'all to stay in the new, okay? Stay in the new. Um, it's not going to be like last time. It's not going to be like those other times. When God brings us together and he confirms to you, even in your spirit, that, you know, this is it. This is it. Just expect good things and stay in the new, okay? Stay in the new. Amen. So, um, 
I've also been seeing 1288 super, super heavy, which means to kneel, to bow. So there's definitely proposals that's coming. Um, it can look different for everybody. For some people, it can go from you literally being single to you literally being married. For some of you, it can literally be you going from single to y'all making an official, skipping the engagement, and then getting married. Um, it looks different for many of you, but just know that there is a commitment that is coming. There's, there's, there's um, a relationship that many of you are literally getting ready to enter into, okay? Um, again, unity. It's, it's union time. It's union time. To confirm that the father was showing me 261, 261 is like a, a Benjamite name, but it means union. And when I was saying it even to my sister, after I said God been showing me 261, which means union, she was like, oh, look, it was a card that literally said 261 right next to her. I mean, right on the road. And that was just confirmation. So it is union time, y'all. It's, it's union time. Oh my gosh. And what I also want y'all to understand too, the spy, the spy is not new beginnings. The spy is not small beginnings, okay? Um, the lines of communication is open now, okay? Again, it's going to be like a slow burn for some, okay? Because again, many of your spouses, are, are their walls are coming down. They're learning to trust all over again. Um... And so you have to just be patient. Show them grace. Show them grace, okay? Because they've been through a lot with this counterfeit. They've been through so much with this counterfeit. So coming back, it's like they have to learn how to trust all over, okay? And um, day by day. I know sometimes y'all could be like, as soon as the communication open back up, you you probably like, I want to talk more, I want to talk more. Just let it play out the way it needs to play out slow it down it's no need to stress it's no need to panic because if god said that's your spouse that's your spouse if god said it's your time it's your time so it's no need to overthink it it's no need to even try to force it it's no need to even try to literally like you know try to force com extra communication because you miss them so it's no need just let it play out how it's supposed to play out if god places it on your spirit to reach out and say hey i love you that's it cool you know, exactly what's being loosed in heaven is being loosed on earth. Amen. Crown Jewel said, don't worry about the ring size because many will wake up and be ready to propose and not have a lot for a big ring. That's a fact. Even when it comes down to ring size, y'all, the way that I'm telling y'all, I remember I told y'all this testimony before I said to the father, I was like, um, I was like, Lord, what is my husband's ring size? What is his ring size? And he dropped the number in my spirit. And I didn't know that. I didn't. I just didn't know. I didn't even know my ring size at the time. He dropped the ring size. So I Googled it and it was like, that's the average size for men. I was like, what? God will tell you. So trust that God will tell them. And if it's wrong, so what? Y'all can go right back and get that thing resized. It's 414 people in the chat. I mean, in the in the thing, in the live, he gonna tell him. It's no need. I don't even care about a ring, y'all. That, that's where I'm at. Like, I don't even care about a ring. Let bring this union together. Let's run to this courthouse and and keep it moving. You know. So, um, again, I congratulate you. And if you feel like you at a place where you're numb. And you're over it and stuff like that. I want y'all to specifically go to the Father and just say, Lord, I just ask that you soften my heart. You know, whatever it is in my heart that I'm holding on to, whatever hope deferred that I'm feeling or experiencing, Lord, God, I ask that you create in me a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. You know, ask God to work on your heart. Because at the end of the day, y'all, the promise still stands. No matter how we feel, no matter how mad we are, no matter how discouraged we feel, no matter what it looks like, the promise still stands. And so, again, we got to make sure that our heart posture is right, that our heart posture is, in, is open for us to receive what the Lord has for us. Amen. Because we can grow weary at times. 
but it it, it it brings us back to the father that's time, that's that's when it's time for us to go ahead and just sit with the father and be intimate with the father because it doesn't happen overnight like y'all i'm telling you my heart been in crazy places multiple times i'm like man please I'm all the way here in Texas. That man ain't thinking about me. I'm all the way here. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here like, it ain't happening. You know, but the father had to work on my heart. And he gave me reminders again that the promise still stands. And no matter what it looks like, it don't matter how I feel, the promise still stands, Brittany. Be not weary and well-doing. You know? And so whatever you do, don't, don't give up. That scripture talks about, uh, you know, winning a race, you know, about receiving a crown of life in order for us to receive the crown and receive the results is if we don't give up, we cannot give up. God didn't give up on us. So why are we giving up on this? You know, amen. We on this to get we we in this thing together and we shall rejoice in the Lord and we shall testify of his good and marvelous works. You know? You in the wilderness right now? Embrace um G.I. Jane, embrace it. Embrace it. Each part of your journey is important so embrace the wilderness season y'all y'all witness my wilderness season y'all witness my wilderness season y'all i lost everything i lost everything but i had to learn to embrace it because now i'm on the other side you know the pro i mean promises are coming to pass because i'm in my promised land the marriage i'm still waiting for that part but everything else is coming to pass but it, there's a flow, and everything that I'm lo that I have lost, the God is the Father is replacing, losing friends and family and relationships and my car and my home and stuff like that. Though we had an Airbnb, but we here we Gucci. The kids is having a beautiful moment. They're grateful. No, this this is the season of restoration. Everything that you have lost, the Father is getting ready to bring it. Even my, listen, my sis was talking about, she kept seeing um, like twins or like things about double. You guys are getting ready to receive double for your trouble. The fact that beauty for your ashes just popped up. You're getting ready to receive beauty for your ashes, joy for your pain. Everything that you went through was not in vain. Come on now. You see how the father is restoring? He restored back the gears, all of them things, everything that the, the canker worm has stolen. And it's a part of your marriage. It's a part of your house. It's a part of everything that God has get, He's promised you. This is the ending of your Job season. Come on now. This is the ending of your Job season. Know what season you're in. Because you know Ecclesiastics talks about it's a season for everything. But know what season you're in. Amen. He not going to bring us this far for nothing. He not. He got you. Y'all seen my story. Y'all seen my testimony. And it's still being written. And I'm going to still keep it real. And tell y'all. Even when I have my days where I'm doubting. Because I want y'all to hold on. I don't want y'all to ever look at God like he's not big enough to change the situation like that. God is big. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think. Hi. Remember Abraham, how his promises, how his promises came by his faith. Y'all got to keep believing. The keys to receiving is believing. So no matter what, don't give up. Because the moment you give up, the moment you stop believing, you automatically start believing in the lies of the enemy. Remember who your God is. He's a God that he does not lie and his words do not return back void. And if you need a, remi a, re a, a reminder of the things that he has done, Psalm 77, 11 talks about for us to remember the things that he has done. Remember the miracles that he did. If he did it before, he won't do it again. 
And he gonna do it over and over and over and over and over again. He got you. He got you. I promise you. He hasn't failed me, so why would he why would he fail you? Okay, sis. Amen. Amen. The song just came to my spirit. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill the very promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able. If y'all need to put that song on when we get off, put it on. He's able. Remember that. Amen. So I love y'all so much. I'm about to get off because my phone is dying. It's 529 right now. I've been seeing this as well. 529 means a meeting. A lot of you, 528 and 529, you guys are getting ready to have a face-to-face. -face. You guys are getting ready to have a face-to-face, -face, okay, with your promise, whatever that looks like. Amen. So I love y'all so much. Y'all continue to have faith in the impossible because our God is able to do I'm telling you, the impossible. With man, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. I love y'all too. <laughs> Amen. So, not Pastor B. Kudawashi, here you go. She always thought of Pastor B. <laughs> so, y'all, if y'all are not allowed to talk to your testimony, feel free to email me. I love testimony. So email me at trustobeyimagineministries at gmail.com, y'all. If you wanted to book your 101, be sure to email me. I am open for 101s for this week, okay? Until God says otherwise. Um, again, trustobeyimagineministries at gmail.com. If you feel led to bless, um, be a blessing or so into this ministry or so into this word or it's even just send a love offering. Um, my information is in the description box below. Yes, I do one on ones, okay? Um, yep, I do one on ones, y'all. I do one on ones. So again, send me an email if you are interested. Um, thank you, Rochelle. I appreciate you. Thank you, Romy. Romy, you always showing love and support. I really, really appreciate you, sis. But um, again, y'all, I love y'all so much. Peace, love, and blessings. I pray that this word blessed you. Um, and again, I expect to hear those testimonies in Jesus' name. All right? So, I'm out of here. Y'all enjoy y'all evening. Y'all be safe. And um, I will talk to y'all when the Father releases me. Amen. Peace, love, and blessings. I love you. Bye.